What's up guys, I am Suva Malik and in this video I am going to show you how to format a coloring book in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we will be looking at on, on which page you need to place your coloring page and how to create this blank page and also what are the dimensions and what is the border setting for a coloring book. So before doing this, if you are new to my channel, then do subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new video from me. Actually, I got a question in the Facebook group regarding the formation of coloring pages or coloring book in Microsoft PowerPoint. So I am going to teach you in this video. So first of all, you need to know that if uh, we are creating coloring pages on alternate pages, we will be leaving one page blank so our coloring page go, will go on first page and the second page will be totally black to avoid color bleed so how to do this and what are the dimensions of this so i am creating uh, 8.5 into 11 but you can see here this color is going beyond the margin so that's why we need to add interior with bleed so our interior is with bleed so the size for with bleed interior would be like we will go to design and custom slide size and here you can see it would be 8.625 into 11.25 so this is the interior size with bleed first of all we will go to file and here we will create a blank document and this is our blank document and we will get rid of this and then we will go to design and custom slide size and here we will input our dimensions 8.625 inches into 8.625 actually 625 inches into 11.25 this is with bleed so ensure fit and just duplicate this page now we have two pages firstly on this page our coloring page will be added we will need to add a border around this so we will go to view and here the slide master and we will select this slide this is already selected select this slide and Control plus a to select all and then hit delete then go to insert and go to shapes and insert a rectangle and the size of rectangle would be as we are leaving 0.25 margin toward the top and bottom so the height would become 10.75 okay and the width of this document would be 7.625 okay now click on this and shape format go to fill and no fill and go to outline black outline and then go to again click on the outline and go to weight and select the weight three points and then go to align and align center and then align middle okay now close this view so now we have a border you don't need to add border on all uh, every page so we have better that is not editable so but you can go to view slide master and edit here again so this is our first page and here we will add our coloring page so go to insert picture and this device and add some sort of picture like this this would be our coloring page i am creating a coloring book of sports or vehicle coloring book you can think of the book coloring book so while holding shift from your keyboard just reduce the size like this and then click on this image and align center and align middle if you want to add some text here then you can move this image a bit down so now we have created a first coloring page the, now our next page would be blank one and so go to insert again and shapes and draw, draw a rectangle here 
like this and check the size of the rectangle it should be 11.25 and 8.625 what is exact that is exact size of this document then click on this and shape format and make sure it is aligned center and line middle so no space white space is left behind so click on this shape format and or select no outline and shape fill black totally black so this is our black page now the thing you need to know is your coloring page would be the first page right hand side page so so it should be an odd every odd page like 1 3 5 7 9 11 would be coloring page and every even page would be a blank or black page so just select both of these and then click control plus d from your keyboard to duplicate now we have duplicated our pages and now we will go to the th page 3 we have inserted our image on page 1 we will skip page 2 and then go to page 3 and click on this image and right click and change picture and from file and here select another picture like this so it would be automatically resized so in this way you will click select these again to control plus D duplicate and go to page 5 right click change picture and from file and next select this one and coloring page in sequence so uh, uh, another thing you can do is you can select this these two images these two pages and control plus d as many times as many number of pages you would like to add in your coloring page coloring book so for example you have 30 coloring pages then your book should be a total of 60 pages like this now we you can go back and you can see that you have added here we have added page 5 now our next page would be page 7 you can go to page 7 change picture and go to file and add another file another coloring page then click on this and then click on page 9 and go to picture and uh, change picture and add a picture like this again click here on black page it will automatically bring the next page that is 11 click on the 11 page and go to select this image change picture and from file and change this in this way you will add your 30 pages 30 or 25 coloring pages and every even page would be a black one and coloring image will go on every odd page odd mean 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 19 21 so now we know we have uh, our coloring page ready next we need to add title page just select this first slide and go to insert and new slide and add a title page here click on this and move upward drag to move upward here now duplicate this one now one and two pages the first page would be like your title pa uh, title page vehicle coloring book for kids and select here change the font to something like dragon kids and now change the size to something like 54 like this and this is not the perfect title page but i am giving you an idea and then you can go here and lose click on lose so like this this would be your first page and this would be your copyright page you can write your published by your brand name or author name published by x y z publishing things like that so you will reduce the size 
align center align and place it like on the bottom you can place here and add some copyright text here i would like to play this like here and that's now that's ready our title page is ready our copyright page is ready and our images are going on the every odd page and every even page would be a black one totally black one so i hope this answers the most newbies questions regarding format formatting coloring book in powerpoint and if you are new to my channel then do subscribe and also click on the thumbs up button and see you in the next video